And so the Electoral Commission has just announced that there would be reprinting of valid papers for the eastern and western regions and that will most definitely as we heard the commissioner also announced affect the special voting which is expected to take place tomorrow for now though um, the political parties have been asked to continue to stay uh, expecting some conversations um, and then we can put f questions forth to the reps of the respective political parties who are here, but that's the latest from the, the quarters of the Electoral Commission in this emergency press conference which has just been held. And for now, all media persons have been ushered out, awaiting um, what now is the expectation to be an IPAC meeting. And so if we could just run you by really um, what the Electoral Commission Chair, Madame Jean Mensah, has been saying in this hurriedly convened press conference is that there's been one defaced ballot paper at the printing house which was taking care of uh, the presidential ballot papers for the Eastern region. Now, that ballot paper which was defaced was originally intended to head towards the eastern region but it was taken out and was not going to be a part of the contingent which made its way to the eastern region but for some strange reason they were informed by the national investigation bureau that that defaced ballot paper had made its way out of the printing house and if you heard her, she said that it wasn't an easy decision arriving at the fact that they would decide to reprint the ballot papers for the Eastern region. The Western region has been included because this printing house is responsible or was responsible as well for printing the ballot papers for the presidential of the Western region as well. And so it has forced them to uh, immediately recall uh, the ballot papers. We'll seek to get a bit more from the the political party reps just shortly, but also um, in terms of what we know is from what the electoral commissioner has been telling us is that there will be additional security features to these new presidential ballot papers meant for the eastern and the western region. They will not be of the same characteristic but will have special security features which will differentiate them from that which exists already and she mentions as well that this decision has been taken via the consensus of the political parties who were present today and then the agent of the presidential candidate as well reason for which the special voting which will take place tomorrow the western region and then the eastern region will not be a part they will have or they will take their turn on thursday uh, where they can get the opportunity to be able to vote the printing of the of the ballot papers is going to begin this evening with the help and guidance of the respective political parties who are present and then the national investigation bureau which continues to provide security all through uh throughout this process and that really is the summation of of what we've seen but let's try and get dr omane boama he is the director of elections for the ndc doc we've just had uh, the address from the commissioner of the electoral commission says there's a buy-in from the political parties but your reaction to what we've just been hearing this afternoon yes um quite unfortunate that this would happen with six days and few hours to the elections. But prevention is better than cure. And so we thoroughly discussed the matter and it is very clear that the only way out is to condemn all the ballot papers that were printed by checkpoint. Burn them to give way for other print houses to reprint both the presidential and the parliamentary. If 
even though this aberration occurred in the eastern region and we are being told it's only one ballot paper cancer cells can sometimes generate from just one cell so this one ballot could be a symptom of an underlying festering ulcer what was the intention was the corporate or the perpetrators intending to study the security features on the ballot so they could replicate because for us at our end we are still tracking information about some 2.5 million ballot papers that are being printed clandestinely not by the electoral commission but by a particular political party so if a ballot had been found in this manner could it be that people wanted it to study the features so they could replicate this is why we wholeheartedly endorse the banning of the eastern and the western region ballot papers one reprinting by different printing houses not the same printing house checkpoint and in fact as i said in the meeting in 2008 i was supervising printing of ballot papers and we had an issue with checkpoint as a party history is just repeating itself what is sad is the fact that security personnel media ec permanent and temporary staff who have made arrangements to vote tomorrow would have to reconfigure their plans this is because some of them may have to travel to far off places in order to vote they would have to change their plans and in this case they are going to be voting on thursday that is for eastern and for western region we hope and pray that the necessary support systems will be put in place for the security and personnel for the media and for the ec permanent and temporary staff to be able to participate in this exercise however let me state here that it is sad that we cannot be told whether the corporates either a corporate or corporates have been arrested or not and the national security the bureau of um, national investigation the the cid all the investigative bodies must step forward and let us know who are the perpetrators the ec has done its job the security apparatus must disclose we demand full disclosure we demand sunlight on this we demand that the security apparatus pours chlorine on this so that we will know who the perpetrators are to date we have an unresolved issue of biometric voter registration devices that is unresolved there are lessons to learn from it we have few days into an election the security apparatus must name if they have arrested any of the corporates but like i said we are still tracking an intel that we received that a particular political party is printing about 2.5 million ballot papers aimed at staffing which political party is this where is the intel coming from I chose not to mention the name of the political party we are not going to disclose the source of our intel we've been keeping this for almost seven months now at a point that party was torn between to do or not to do eventually they decided to go ahead you reported to the police we are not going to we are tracking it at the right time when the necessary arrests are effected we will hand over the corporate we hope this serves a lesson that they will halt it but we are tracking 
we are tracking. We are tracking. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's Dr. Omane Boama, uh, who is the Director of Elections. Let's speak to Mr. Nimako as well. He as well uh, has been here and also sat through the meeting. Um, your perspective as well as the governing new patriotic party, we get the indication that all political parties agreed uh, to, to these solutions as proffered by the Electoral Commission. Well, thank you very much for, for having me. Uh, I think for, for us as New Patriotic Party, we've always been on the table with other stakeholders to ensure that we have programs that will give us a peaceful elections. Meaning that at any stage of the process, we have to be on the same page. And this afternoon's uh, decision by the Electoral Commission is a very difficult one. And uh, that goes to say that democracy is expensive. One ballot paper that slipped and has been found and reported by the national security is calling for the reprint of all ballots in eastern and western region. A very expensive exercise. We would have disagreed because at any point in time, the, 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 they are agents of political parties. The EC officials are at post as well as the printing house staff and all that. But here we are, the devil has managed to put us on this track. So we are on board to ensure that we will have a peaceful and successful program, which means that at any point in time, the parties must be on the same page to ensure that we have level playing field. If that will mean that let's find time, let's find resources to print ballot for Western and Eastern, so be it. We will only appeal to those who were supposed to be voting tomorrow, our media partners, the security officials, some of whom have already left to their stations to exercise their franchise, as well as the EC staff. But as we said, it may be expensive, but it will be the better route for all of us. All that we are calling for is that those houses which have been selected now to print for these regions must ensure that they go through the exercise fairly going by the rules of the game and urge the security to up their game. I think that in the course of distribution of the ballots, for instance, in Eastern region, we we saw a video going around that seals have been broken and really coming from NDC, they will not accept it. It ended up that the, 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 the ballot in the bag was intact. So some of the things can be addressed without raising some issues that will end up not giving us any basis. So we can all help calm down tension. At the end of the day, the police said they've resolved it and everything was intact. We heard of issue coming from Volta region. Ballots from Volta region were printed at, at commercial. Agents available escorted ballot from Accra to Volta region, checked. A record from my agent indicated that from the ballot statistics up to the printing to the dispatch, all were right. Issue of miscommunication. But when you take your time and you visit the data, you realize that uh, people are just trying to raise tension, needless. So we will call on each one of us as stakeholders. Let's go by the rules of the game. I have had my presidential candidate 
signing to the peace pact and made a profound statement and call on the media, call on the EC, call on the security, leadership of his party, that he stand by peace because peace is possible. And so for us, we will not do anything before, during, after this exercise, but to have one Ghana. A situation where I'll plead with the media not to entertain people come to allegation just to be heard. And in one meetings we held here at the EEC office, we were told, you need to find time to appreciate the electoral rules of the game. So you help your leadership to get things done right. There have been times that NDC have raised issues about ballot papers. There have been times they raise issues about the register. At the end of the day, a critical look at all this will show that their issues raised had no basis. They will end up raising tension. Ghana is at peace. And so we urge the media at a point in time, you should black out those people. Just briefly on, on expectations of the police to be able to identify the individual who, who picked up this, this defaced ballot paper. Well, I, I, I said earlier that we urge the security to up their game to ensure that those involved will be made to face the law. I think that this is a heavy decision and because of that singular act of those people, you've had to put people who have made arrangements to cast their votes, to change their arrangement again. You've had to go through this exercise again, time and resources because of a certain slip that allows somebody to pick a ballot. So there must be full investigation into this. And anybody with information should assist the police to get to the, uh, the, the crunch of the, the, the bottom of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's Evans Nimako also speaking to us, the chair of the PNC, just briefly. Uh, you've also sat through just briefly on, on, your, on what's transpired and then your thoughts as well. Well, I strongly believe that the <clears throat> meeting today was very fruitful. Um, it has never happened that uh, after a meeting, all of us would uh, sign to agree that the EC should go ahead to print the new ballot papers for the Eastern Region and Western Region. Remember that the EC said that the same company that printed for these, these regions, and so uh, they have changed three companies. Uh, one will print for the western, and then two will print for the eastern. And I think at the, at the, along the line, the commissioner made it as to understand that maybe these two companies that will print for the eastern region, one will print for the presidential, and then one will print for the parliamentary. I think that we as political party have to support the EC in terms of this difficulty this time, and ask those who our security agencies who have also traveled, not only security agencies, including those special voting people who have traveled to go and cast their vote tomorrow, will now be given the opportunity to vote on coming Thursday on the 5th of uh, December. And I think that this is the only way that we have seen that this year alone, this election alone, I think that we need to really appreciate the work of the EC. They've been up and down and all the time, they call us at critical hours. Guess today is Sunday, we have to come because of this issue. Yes, it, it was one faded uh, ballot paper that was taken, but for integrity, for transparency, I think we at PNC really support that they should reprint these ballot papers for transparency. You know, the election, the stake is, the stake is very high. And so, NDC want to win overwhelmingly. And so, whilst NDC want to win overwhelmingly, I, we strongly believe that the printing of the ballot papers would give confidence to all of us uh, at the end of the day, when the election has been declared, we know that they win without anything. And then, of course, to those who have printed that they are tracking. I mean, we don't want to see any, any illegal ballot paper comes on December 7th. We want what EC will put out there, let us go through, and whoever will win, at the end of the day, there will be transparency. For we at PNC, we know that we are, we are, we are out there to support uh, the NDC, and I think, I think the NDC have really called for this, and the EC commissioner and the commissioner, the deputy have accepted it is true. They will have to reprint. In fact, the EC even draw our attention 
that they have also in the national security have written to them. And so they want us to, all of us to come and discuss and collect with all the political party majority cons consensus build that there's a need for the EC to go ahead to print it. And we need to support and we need to appreciate the work that the EC, the chairperson and the deputies are doing. Thank you. And so that pretty much sums up uh, everything that's transpired here. Uh, we can return to the studio and then um, and then we'll uh, wrap up for today. But that's, that's essentially it. Special voting for the Western and Eastern region has been postponed. I will come off on Thursday because of the challenge with the ballot papers, the presidential ballot paper. One ballot paper defaced at Checkpoint Printing House, which has resulted in what all the parties say has been a difficult decision, but one that must be taken nonetheless to ensure uh, transparency throughout the entire process. Bawen Egbeta, from the headquarters of the Electoral Commission, back to you in the studio.